But no, that's my routine. That's what I like to do. That's what I do. That's what I like to do myself. All right, what up, it's your girl Minna. In this video, we are talking about my top five face powders. And I'll get into what exactly face powders mean, how I use them, and why they are my favorites. If you're new, I want you to subscribe because it's free and it'll allow you to just take a peek into my world. On Sundays, I post vlogs. And then during the weekday, I post two videos, one of which you're watching right now, okay? Lots of videos saved to play lists so make sure you watch them also comment below and let me know if you've used any of the powders that i'm going to mention today let me know if you like this look that i have going on right now and also join my text community it's free about this look this dress was in my shein haul look at it it's so cute it's like an a-line kind of a dress got my hair on top of it or whatever and the makeup look is my basic everyday makeup look i did a light pinkish, almost looking purple inner eye highlight. It wasn't meant to be that way, but it just happened, which is fine with me, okay? Lashes, I'll link below. The foundation I'm wearing is dewy. Do you like it? My skin's been dry and I love this foundation, baby. It says a wave of one. I'll link that too. My lip, because y'all you gonna ask, okay? Y'all gonna ask. That's why I'm getting that out of the way right now. Oh, nails, I'll also link. Lip is, let's see, on the outside, Pillow Talk 3, Charlotte Tilbury. Inside is a lip, a, a matte lippy from Maybelline called Poet. And then the gloss is a glaze from IBP. We'll link what I can below, okay? Now let's jump into the actual reason why we're here. So if you've watched any number of my makeup tutorial type videos, either here on YouTube or on Instagram, then you've seen me use what I refer to as a face powder. Now these powders, depending on your level of makeup ability, or even just depending on what you like to be your outcome when you're finished doing your face, you may use them differently or at a different stage in the game, okay? I use them the way I use them and I love the way that I do it and you probably love it too. So I'm, I'm gonna hip you to what exactly I mean by that. So when I do my face, I apply my primer, I do foundation, I do my concealer, I set the concealer. Oh, excuse me, I do my, my contour. I set the concealer, set the contour, then I apply my face powder, okay? Some people might use a face powder. It could be a powder foundation. It could be a mineralized type light coverage powder as their first step. Like that is all you might do and not even use foundation. If you do that, I want you to come and let me know. I don't do that. I like a lot of coverage, even when I'm wearing a medium coverage type foundation like this one, I do all these same steps because it then adds coverage to my face to give me the end result that I want. As you can see, I'm giving a lot of hands because I love my nails and I want you to know that's all. Okay, so that's the process that I use to do my face and that's the stage at which I apply the face powder. So I call it a face powder because it's a powder that matches my skin tone usually. With this foundation, for instance, if you've seen the video, if not, make sure you watch it. I'll link it below on this way the foundation. If I'm wearing a foundation that is too dark for my skin tone, once I've done all of those steps that I mentioned and then I get to my face powder stage, I will take a face powder that is lighter than my skin tone, one that perhaps I would use in the winter time that's not dark to match me quite yet, like in the summertime. I'll use that one because it's a little bit lighter and it'll offset everything on my my face. For instance, let me tell you, this would be the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. This is the color deep. Now, if you look at it, you're like probably thinking, excuse me, this is way too light. How does she use this? This is the kind of powder that I would put on when I'm wearing a foundation that's too dark. Now, why would I have a foundation that's too dark? It's an accident, right? Like I picked up this foundation, I picked up three of them, and this one turned out to be a little bit too dark, but it works. If you see my videos, you know that I like to make dark foundations work because it just matches everything beautifully as opposed to a foundation being too light. I don't want to confuse you, but I do have foundations that match me like the right way. And then I got to be careful with my highlight, my contour, my contour, my face powder, because it could really take it left or right. If I'm not being careful, it usually will take it too light. But if I use foundation that is too dark in a sense, I can usually scale it back with the concealer and the face powder. So if it's too dark, that's when I'm using the Sephora Micro Smooth. I have not used this in so long. I haven't used it in so long, but it is good. It reminds me of the MAC mineralized skin finish back in the day. I used to freelance at MAC. I grew up using that. You know, they had the deep and the darkest deep and no, deepest dark. Now they call it deepest dark. I don't know. Dark deep, whatever it is. One of them was too red though. It was too warm. Excuse me, too cool. It might've been the darkest deep. I don't know. Either way, I grew up using that and I just haven't been to Mac in a long time, but I love this one. Very affordable, very good. I want you to comment and let me know if you've tried this before. This gives you a nice airbrush light finish. It's not gonna give you a lot of coverage, but it, it ties the look together still. It's not gonna give me too much coverage. So for instance, if I'm wearing 
a skin tint or a tinted moisturizer that is not, that's more on the light side. Cause I've tried some tinted moisturizers that are full coverage. Well, to, like, I don't want to confuse you. I tried some tinted moisturizers that are like medium coverage. And depending on your, your natural skin tone condition, lightening, if you have any dark spots, what have you, it could on you look to be full coverage but on me it's usually like a light medium but if i'm wearing a foundation or a skin product that is light like ain't giving me much coverage i would not put this on top i would choose something that's a powder foundation that is more on the powdery side that is in a pressed compact product the container like this right to put on top so that i can add coverage to my face. I'm saying this slowly because I feel like as I'm saying it, it sounds confusing, but I hope that you're understanding what I'm saying. Because this gives a more light, airy coverage, it's not going to add too much coverage to my face. So I pair it with foundations depending on what I'm looking for and how that foundation looks on my skin. Okay. Does that make sense? Comment and let me know. Another light, airy-ish product for the face is this one by Kosas. Now this was sent to me in PR and I was so excited. I have a few colors of it. This is velvety. If you've watched any of my videos and you've seen me use the one called Silky, that one's a little bit lighter. This one would match me right now. Still light, airy, beautiful. If I were to swatch it, it would pick up a lot of products. But when it's on the face, it just gives this buttery canvas, almost glow-like, not matte at all. These are not matte face powders at all. So you're gonna get like that MAC mineralized skin finish kind of a glow to the skin. So if you're wanting to be hydrated like I am right now today, then you wouldn't wanna use a matte powder unless your skin is glowy and dewy, then you're still gonna get that shine no matter what, okay? But I like to use either the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder or Kosas Velvety Clouds. I'm gonna link all these products down below. So make sure you click that arrow to open the box to see the links to these products. So those are those two. Now when we're thinking of powder foundations, right? Products that are in a powder type form, but they have foundation in them. So they do add coverage to my face. When for, let's say for instance, I'm wearing a tinted moisturizer or a, tint, a BB, I don't wear BB cream, but you know, let's say you're wearing a BB cream or a CC cream, or let's say you're not wearing foundation at all. You know, let's say you're just doing concealer, which you can do. I've never done that. It's not for me. Actually, when I tried the Fenty, which is one of my uh, faves, when I tried the Fenty Pro Filter Swap Matte Powder Foundation, I believe I tried this by itself and hated it because the color by itself just wasn't giving me what I needed. On top of foundation though, baby, it's amazing. On top of, of course, the Fenty foundation, any foundation really. Now you might be thinking that's a lot of coverage. No, honey, no, it's not, okay? First of all, this is for, this is, this is, this is used up, okay? This is 450. It looks light in the compact, but it works, okay? When you watch my videos, which you should watch more if you haven't, and this is your first one, you'll see that when I apply this, I'm not applying this from the edge of my face all around. It's really more so in the middle and of course under my cheek to really set down the cheek highlight, you know? It just brings everything together, but I'm not looking for this to take over my whole entire look. These powders are in a sense finishing powders, but when I think of finishing powder, I think of something light. So I call it a face powder because I do usually want to add some coverage to my look. Okay, if you're confused, comment and let me know. <laughs> okay, so this is 450. I take a big fluffy brush and I go over my highlighted areas and around the mouth to make sure that I've taken down the shine and just brought everything together. If you see my videos, you'll see sometimes, you might think, oh, it looks good, what more? But to me, I notice the difference. I notice that the highlight is just kind of pronounced. Now, of course, I could use a highlight that's not too light and then perhaps skip this step, but no, that's my routine. That's what I like to do. That's what I do. That's what I like to do myself. So I like to go real light and then I like to bring it all in with a face powder. That's my routine, baby. I love to do it. The Fenty Pro Filter Powder Foundation, the long name, is mad good. Links below if you want to take a look at it. But if you've used it, I want you to let me know if you use it on top of foundation and concealer or if you use this by itself. Like, this is the kind of thing that it comes with a sponge. And I tried it in the video. The sponge is not for me, man. It was under here. The sponge gives me old lady, like my mom. Mom, God bless you. She takes the sponge under the MAC. Studio Tech, I think it was, is what she uses. She actually, she told me she needed a re-up. 
the lady gave me a warning. Oh, I'm a warning. Oh, see, she needs a re up on her makeup. I actually forgot. I'm reminded now in a video. I'm so sick about it. I need to re up her makeup. Okay. But she don't even know what she's doing. I can't. You know, you can't teach old folks how to do it, how we do it. They don't be having that kind of time. They don't be having that kind of bandwidth. The way she does her makeup, bless God, I'd be like, Mom. I digress. Okay, two more. Okay, then the next one that I love to use as of late is by One Size. This was sent to me and I like it a lot. Initially, I was like, wait a minute, this is way too light. What is going on? This is a Turn Up the Base Versatile Foundation Powder, Dark 4G. At first, I was like, wait a minute, this is too light. Like, what's going on? The next step up, though, was mad dark. This one and the Fenty one are not to be confused just based on how they look inside the containers. They look light, but she Yo, when you put it on, it works. Now, in the liquid foundation, the matte one, I used to wear 450. Summertime came around, I was a little bit Zaka, you know what I'm saying? So I was doing more like a 470. You feel what I'm saying? Right now, I don't know what I am because it's summer's over. You know, it's still hot in Houston, but summer's over. You know what I'm saying? So I need to just experiment and see what color I am. But either way, I can make this 450 work if I'm wearing a foundation that is too dark for me. This will tie things together, okay? So back to the one size one. I like this. It's golden. So this one, we're talking about chemistry here. And if you see my videos, I'm really trying to teach you, okay? If I'm wearing a foundation that is very cool, okay? Cool meaning red base looking very red, okay? Then I would take this powder foundation, given that it's golden, okay? So this is warm. I would take this powder foundation on top because this is going to what? Balance it all out. If I'm wearing a foundation that I find is way too peachy golden already, you know, like orange, I'm not going to then come take a golden powder on top. That's not gonna work. You know why? Because I'm gonna look like a pumpkin patch. And that's not what I wanna do this fall or in my life in its entirety. It's just, I'm not interested. You know, so I do make things work depending on what's going on. And it's usually because I'm trying a new foundation that I'm not familiar with and I put it on and I'm like, what is this? But I still want to make it work because I have things to do. I do not put stuff on and wipe it off and start all over again. I do not do that. Comment, let me know. I do not. When I sit down to do my makeup, I have plans. So I have to find a way to make it work. Even when I'm doing the videos where I'm testing new products, I have things to do after I'm finished. So I have to make it work by force by fire. So I, I keep these powders in their varieties because I make them work somehow. So this one's good. They have different shades, obviously different undertones. I like this. It gives coverage. It looks good, baby. Comment, let me know if you've tried this. Link it below if you wanna look at it for purchase consideration. Listen, the last one, you've seen me use this so many times, okay? First of all, I used to be on CoverGirls PR. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I know that you're rotating people, but it's been a while. You see what I'm saying? It's been a long time, but that's okay though. That's okay though. If I love the product, I'm gonna purchase it. It ain't about PR, although I do like free. Like, hello. This is really good. I stocked up on a bunch of these. This one in particular is brand new, so obviously not even used or opened. I have like four of them. This is the CoverGirl Matte Ambition Powder Foundation in the color Deep Cool 2. Now, when I was lighter, I used to use, excuse me, this is Deep Cool 3, my bad. I used to use Deep Cool 2, that's what it was. But now I use Deep Cool 3 because it's a little bit deeper. It's cool, so it's good for me. I love this a lot, okay? Normally, I would wear this like today I would have worn this one the one that I have that's open and beat up and used and stuff but because it is dark in a good way I didn't use it today because why this is the way the foundation that I'm wearing I think it's 430 and warrior it's dark for me so I wasn't gonna use this baby it's gonna be too dark now I didn't go and grab either of these two although I should have I used a different foundation part of foundation today but that I digress, you understand what I'm saying? I use this when my foundation matches my skin tone, isn't dark, but I do want to deepen it just a tinge because the thing is my concealer is usually wicked light. You know that. If you've seen my videos, you know that my concealer is wicked light. And y'all used to get so mad at that. Y'all have stopped. I think y'all have understood that I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. You see what I'm saying? You've understood. We understand each other. I like my concealers be light, okay? Because I'm, I'm mixing, I'm making a pie. I'm mixing and I'm making. 
A pie. Okay, here we go. I'm mixing a hey, and I'm making a pie. Hi, hi. So when I'm doing my face, I like to do what I want to do because in the end, baby, it's going to come together. Can't you tell? Can't you see? It does. Okay. So this one is definitely powder foundation full ish. I would say full. I'm saying full coverage because when I put it on top of anything, be it a full coverage foundation or even a skin tint, we get in coverage with this you see with the sephora micro smooth powder and the kosas cloud set we're getting like a like a how do i say it we're getting like a blurred beautiful powder i don't know how to say it like you know like a soft finish effect which i do love like there's a time and a place for these but when you want to be looking like beat beat like matte matte like packed packed not crusty okay we do full coverage on this channel but we do it in a very blended beautiful way you know so we doing full coverage with these you know what i'm saying and it's still looking good don't mistake it and think oh we're gonna look cakey no 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 I don't know where that came from. It just came to me. How do you feel? How does it make you feel? Tell me, I wanna know. <laughs> Cute. Yeah, so we're getting full coverage. It's gonna look fantastic. I want you to let me know if you tried any of these powders. Are any of these your favorites? When in your makeup routine do you use a face powder? And do you have any questions about face powders? Because here I just told you my favorites, but I do feel like in my videos I explain why I'm using it. Maybe I don't enough. Comment and let me know. I do have a video where I went over my concealers right it's a little bit dated <laughs> i did clean out my closet my my makeup stash and i got rid of a lot of things so watch that video <laughs> watch that decluttering video so i don't have a lot of concealers left over i'm still building up that stash there oh and i also did a video on my foundations it was like top 10 foundations for brown skin make sure you watch that okay build your beauty stash okay practice your makeup you're not gonna get better if you don't do your makeup you gotta do it you can't wake up and just want wonder why your face don't look right. You gotta continue to practice, okay? I'm glad you're here. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, I want you to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure you're subscribed. Follow me on Instagram because it goes down on the gram. You know what I'm saying? And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.